you know, it's beautiful to get visions and dreams and knowledge of God and let the Holy Spirit speak out of you and all that kind of stuff. But I just want to remind you. Amen. Even as I saw another sister, Kayla Osborne, she was coming up basically saying, you know, don't get so focused on your ministry that you lose your anointing because now you've lost your first love, your relationship with Christ. It's like Saul lost his anointing. He was anointed. Man, you don't want that to happen. I've had God told tell me that. He told me the same thing. I know that's the, so that's why I know Kayla Osborne. I would just like to give you a shout out because I know you love the Lord Jesus Christ. I discern your spirit. Regardless of what people say about you, I face a lot of that too. We all do. The spirit filled, fire filled Christians that are walking in the spirit. Because it's intimidating. It can be intimidating. Or people have jealousy. When we are not putting any confidence in ourselves, and we fear God, the anointing that's been given, by the way, is available to everybody. If you would just draw near to God, he would draw near to you. You don't have because you don't ask. But what, we don't put any confidence in our flesh. But there's no super Christians in the kingdom of God. Y'all could be walking in the same power. When Jesus died on the cross, he made an open show of all principalities and demons and everything else. And all the promises of God apply to the child of God that is walking in true faith, which is love, trust, and obedience. But we don't put any confidence in our flesh. No. God is faithful. To give all of us reminders. So I am just reiterating, repeating the message that was given. This is not a joke. That's why so many people, Lord, didn't I prophesy in your name? Didn't I do cast out demons? Didn't I do all this great stuff? Go away from me. I don't know you. We don't have a relationship. Who are you? That's what God is saying in that verse. Or you just haven't, you never gave up the sin. Wanted to keep the sin and, and operate in the anointing because the gifts are without repentance. He's not going to remove the gifts. But it's a warning. Now, when God told me that he was going to take this, okay, if I got caught in pride, because way back in my past, that happened, okay? He recently spoke to me on that. Who's to say that your lampstand won't be removed? If we're the light of the world, and Revelation is talking about uh, your, your lampstand being removed, don't you know he's talking about perishing? He's not talking about taking the anointing because the gifts are without repentance. There's the revelation out of the book of Revelation. If you remove the lampstand, then just the light is... Come on, y'all. Are you getting it? This is serious, bro. You get, get caught in pride with God's anointing. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of an angry God. You're doing this for show, for money, for anything else, getting caught up in pride? I'm telling y'all. Please. If anything else, don't focus on being a big this or a big that or anything like that. Focus on your relationship with Christ because the rest is going to come. The anointing comes with drawing near to the Lord, y'all. But we reverse it and we try to formulize it and this and that and all. Oh, well, if I do this and this, draw near to God and he'll draw near to you. And by the way, if you're a child of God, you don't have to worry about the promises of God applying to you. They already apply. We're not looking for physical things as children of God. God says, be content with your wages, man. Be content. Anything else that comes is just the promises of God that already apply to you as a child of God. See, my name is full of justice. That's what it means. Literally, full of justice. So I hate lies and false doctrine. 
and I'm not afraid to call it out. That's why they're going to kill me eventually. That's, that's why all the prophets were killed. The mainstream church don't want to hear all this. Well, not just, I mean, the Antichrist spirit, yes, always wants to kill us too. So, of course, that's, that's part of it. You know, the children of God face persecution. We don't fear that, though, because you can, you can kill my body. You can't kill my soul or steal my soul. It belongs to Jesus Christ. Anything that I go through in this life, I count it an honor to be even counted worthy to suffer for his name's sake. Are you kidding me? Me, the chief of sinners? Paul thought he was the chief of sinners. Man, he turned to Christ and he walked in his anointing and he never went back. I'm somebody that's gone back millions of times before I truly repented. Paul didn't know I would be born. He thinks he was the chief of sinners. See, I don't understand why God saved me. I can't comprehend that love, but I accept it. And I'm so fiery because I love Jesus Christ. His Holy Spirit is in me and I stand for truth and judge myself too. If I'm wrong, I'm going to say it. And I'll come out on here in front of all of you guys. Why? Because there's an angel right beside me recording everything that I'm doing. This is not a... Why do we... We cannot play with this thing. Do not entertain pride at all. And if you notice it at all, because it's going to try to come up. Your flesh is your flesh. It's always going to try to come back. You gotta constantly beat it down, beat it down. Choose God every single day. Pray in the spirit, pray in your understanding. I'm telling y'all, this is, this is urgent. This is urgent, okay? Anybody playing with God's anointing or getting gone bride, you better stop because God has made an example of many people in that Bible and he is the same God yesterday, today, and forever. Why are you playing with his anointing? Why? This isn't going to be for everybody, but for you guys that are playing with God's anointing in any kind of way, you better stop. I'm somebody that, 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 that is not only here to warn about certain things, but to show great love and compassion as well. But at the end of the book of Jude, God says with some, God's spirit, God's spirit obviously speaking through men and women, God says in the end of the book of Jude, of some saved with compassion, making a difference, and of some saved with fear, pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garment Spotted by the flesh. And I'm so thankful for men and women of God in my life. They could call me out and correct me on a lot of this stuff over the years so I could talk about it. I may not have liked the presentation, but they were speaking the truth. And if the truth is the truth, let it land. Let it cut. Let it hurt. Let that salt burn. Oh, oh, I just want to clean it out. Though. Oh, gotta take it out though. It's painful. No, bro. You let that sit in there, bro. Let it sit in there. Because the truth is going to set you free. Some people need this fire. And then some people need the lamb. Compassion. I love you. Jesus loves you. It's going to be okay. See, that personality, the lamb and the lion, is in God's children. Sometimes he got to come as the lion. Sometimes he, he come coming as the lamb. Because we're all individuals, we're different. So it's not going to hit everybody. This message ain't going to hit everybody. But it's very important. Kayla Osborne, thank you for, for spreading that message. On Facebook. I don't know what other platforms you're on. But praise God, we need that, bro. Somebody's going to say it. Somebody's going to say the uncomfortable stuff. That's why God put me in this office. Do you know how painful this is? Sometimes to say the things that you don't want to say about what you're seeing. What God shows you and what you have to say. It's not glips and glam and chocolates and honeycomb, bro. Let's take it seriously. Let's take God seriously and focus on our relationship with Christ 
first love. 